Yesterday was the LA Marathon. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only time of year you see someone running in the streets of Los Angeles when it's not the end of a car chase. <laughs> That's my favorite part of any car chase. Yeah. They get rammed by eight police cars, they get out and start running. <laughs> Helicopters, nets, nope, I'm gonna yeah. run. I'm gonna run. <laughs> Anyone here run in the marathon? Did you really? How you feel today? I'm tired. Ah, well, what a nice way to recuperate. <laughs> You're like, I wanna go someplace restful and quiet, I'll go to Conan. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, let's say, they had a uh, St. Patrick's Day parade in Boston yesterday, a special one. For the first time ever, gay people were allowed to march in Boston's St. Patrick's Day parade. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, and, and as a lot of guys in Boston feared, it turned everyone wicked gay. <laughs> it just did. <laughs> a lot of guys, like, I knew yeah. it would happen. <laughs> this is kind of strange. Everyone's uh, starting to, a lot of Republicans are in New Hampshire and they're campaigning. In, uh, in New Hampshire, Tea Party candidate and presidential hopeful Ted Cruz had to comfort a little girl who got scared during his campaign speech. <laughs> she got scared, yeah. However, the little girl felt much better after Cruz reassured her he doesn't have a chance in hell. So, <laughs> she's much better now. <laughs> People are still angry about the threatening letter written by a Republican congressman to Iran. Yes. Also not helping was the Republican started the letter Dear Iran or Iraq, we can never keep you too straight. <laughs> go. Speaking of uh, foreign uh, affairs, Vladimir Putin appeared in public for the first time after a mysterious 10-day absence. 10 days he was gone. Yeah. Putin said it took me that long to recover from the finale of The Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't believe. He couldn't believe it. <laughs> Whitney over Becca is crazy. <laughs> I didn't know that, someone had to tell me. Uh, Saturday was 314, or as it's otherwise known, International Pie Day. <laughs> yeah, where the world celebrates the mathematical concept of pie. Yes, Americans said, you lost me at math, but you got me back at pi. <laughs> In fact, who here actually thought I was talking about the pie you eat when I said that? <laughs> yes, I knew it. I knew there were a couple of guys who were like, pie day! Yeah. And then when I said mathematical concept of pi, I saw it, I just saw, oh. What? Oh. This is crazy, it's being reported that because of the birth of his baby daughter, because of the birth of his baby daughter, Chris Brown has decided to stop calling women hoes in his music. Yeah. He said he's gonna go with the more traditional term, bitches. 